It's not what you say out of your mouth that determines your life, it's what you whisper to yourself that has the most power. In school we learn that mistakes are bad, and we are punished for making them. Yet, if you look at the way humans are designed to learn, we learn by making mistakes. We learn to walk by falling down. If we never fell down, we would never walk. Winners are not afraid of losing, but losers are. Failure is part of the process of success. People who avoid failure also avoid success. You're only poor if you give up. The most important thing is that you did something. Most people only talk and dream of getting rich. You've done something. If you're the kind of person who has no guts, you just give up every time life pushes you. If you're that kind of person, you'll live all your life playing it safe, doing the right things, saving yourself for something that never happens, then, you die a boring old man. The love of money is the root of all evil. The lack of money is the root of all evil. Emotions are what make us human, make us real. The word emotion stands for energy in motion. Be truthful about your emotions, and use your mind and emotions in your favor, not against yourself. I'd rather welcome change than cling to the past. The single most powerful asset we all have is our mind. If it is trained well, it can create enormous wealth in what seems to be an instant. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something and grow wiser. Don't blame other people for your problems. Workers work hard enough to not be fired, and owners pay just enough so that workers won't quit. As I said, I wish I could say it was easy. It wasn't, but it wasn't hard either. But without a strong reason or purpose, anything in life is hard. I am concerned that too many people are focused too much on money and not on their greatest wealth, which is their education. If people are prepared to be flexible, keep an open mind and learn, they will grow richer and richer through the changes. If they think money will solve the problems, I am afraid those people will have a rough ride. Intelligence solves problems and produces money. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. To know a little about a lot. Whenever you feel short or in need of something, give what you want first and it will come back in buckets. That is true for money, a smile, love friendship. I know it is often the last thing a person may want to do, but it has always worked for me. I just trust that the principle of reciprocity is true, and I give what I want. It is said that the fear of public speaking is a fear greater than death for most people. According to psychiatrists, the fear of public speaking is caused by the fear of ostracism, the fear of standing out, the fear of criticism, the fear of ridicule, the fear of being an outcast. The fear of being different prevents most people from seeking new ways to solve their problems. I find so many people struggling, often working harder, 
simply because they cling to old ideas. They want things to be the way they were, they resist change. I know people who are losing their jobs or their houses, and they blame technology or the economy or their boss. Sadly they fail to realize that they might be the problem. Old ideas are their biggest liability. It is a liability simply because they fail to realize that while that idea or way of doing something was an asset yesterday, yesterday is gone. We all have tremendous potential, and we all are blessed with gifts. Yet, the one thing that holds all of us back is some degree of self-doubt. It is not so much the lack of technical information that holds us back, but more the lack of self-confidence. Focus, follow one course until successful. There is a difference between being poor and being broke. Broke is temporary. Poor is eternal. There are those who make things happen, there are those who watch things happen and there are those who say, what happened? The power of can't, the word can't, makes strong people weak, blinds people who can see, saddens happy people, turns brave people into cowards, robs a genius of their brilliance, causes rich people to think poorly, and limits the achievements of that great person living inside us all. Stop blaming me, thinking I'm the problem. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something and grow wiser. Most people want everyone else in the world to change themselves. Let me tell you, it's easier to change yourself than everyone else. In the real world outside of academics, something more than just grades is required. I have heard it called, guts, chutzpah, balls, audacity, bravado, cunning, daring, tenacity and, brilliance. This factor, whatever it is labeled, ultimately decides one's future much more than school grades. Learn to use your emotions to think, not think with your emotions. Just know that it's fear that keeps most people working at a job. The fear of not paying their bills. The fear of being fired. The fear of not having enough money. The fear of starting over. That's the price of studying to learn a profession or trade, and then working for money. Most people become a slave to money. And then get angry at their boss. Success is a poor teacher. Excessive fear and self-doubt that were the greatest detractors of personal genius. Most people fail to realize that in life, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. 